Alrighty guys, welcome to a new video. Today we're going to be playing some Lee Sin Jungle. We're going to be showcasing how I'd go about playing Lee Sin in current meta and current patch, which is patch 13.7. Currently I'm doing a Lee Sin challenge actually as one of the key champions where I'm climbing accounts um, up to Diamond 4, trying to maintain the best win rate possible. Oh no. Well, that's suboptimal. But it's not the worst thing in the world. Also, guys, whenever you're using smile on Lee Sin, like with your clear, you want to try and make sure that you use your smile before your second Q goes off, just so you get that execute damage. And I guess that's not really just smile. It's basically just think about how you can utilize your Q to get the most damage out of it whenever you're using it. That's probably the best way to go about that. Are we going to see if I can look for a play here, to be honest? Okay. Nice. Chin autos. Huge. Just going to quickly help these guys push the wave here, and we might even find a Morgana dive angle. Um, look, that dive was played pretty oddly, but we're not the worst thing in the world. All right, we're quickly going to reset here, guys, and I'm running straight into my top side. So we're resetting and then running straight to my blue. Now, if the enemy jungler is smart, she might have actually counter jungled with these camps, which, you know, that would be the right play for her to make because I spent so much time bot pushing the wave, etc. But... A lot of junglers will not do this. You know, until you start playing in higher ranks, most junglers are not going to be paying that much attention and adapting their clear based off the changes in the game. And it's one of the things I always recommend to my coaching clients and just to you guys who are watching these videos is how we can change our clear and optimize it based on what we see inside the game. Quickly finishing up the blue here. Now, this Lily only has 24 CS. I don't think she did this topside crab. Well, she did. Okay, so it means she actually skipped one of her camps, which is uh, even weirder for a Lilia as a full clearing champion. But anyhow. We're looking for a mid lane gank here. Don't need this guy to walk up too much. No! Yay. Champion and Ignite. But all is good. I'm just going to quickly push this wave for my mid laner. Otherwise, she would get frozen on here. Now it would be pretty terrible for her. Might actually just be dead here, honestly. Yeah, it was really bad by me. Um, what happened, like, what I did wrong there was I just did not respect her E. Like, getting hit by the E is what kills me. If I don't get hit by the E, I obviously never die there because I don't get slowed. Once I got hit by that E, though, I did kind of know I was dead. Um, I do think I could have just played that better, but also... What a lot of people should do there is probably just leave as soon as she shows because why risk her, right? I thought I could mechanically outplay her. I did not. And that basically cost me to death. Okay, it'd be really good if Morgana can throw her Q. Yeah, nice. Any autos in that guy? What? What the fuck? Watching. Oh no, shot. That's really bad, but I made miss my Q there.
Looks like Trindamir is moving. He might actually be doing that cheese where he'll like walk into my jungle and try and kill me. A lot of Trindamir players are doing that now. They just like push the wave and then they randomly try and walk into your jungle and kill you. Pretty surprised that enemy bot is actually killing my players. Get this team out really quickly. So we're quickly picking up this camp. We do see that Lily is actually mid too. A really nice play there by Diana who managed to get that kill. If I could get my Timo to come here, it'd be really helpful. It's really hard to get that guy to come to any of these uh, skirmishes, but anyway. Excellent stuff. We did manage to get him to come in the end. I quickly reset here. This guy used these spells. Boom. And I might just wait for this uh, pink ward too very quickly. Nice. Now, in my opinion, guys, it's uh, best to go with... Gore Drinker. I know a lot of people like to go Eclipse on Lee Sin at the moment. I do not think that that is uh, super good. I wouldn't recommend it to you guys. There is obviously a time and a place for Eclipse, but to go at every single game would definitely be a mistake in my eyes. Also, guys, with a champion like Lee Sin, it's very, very tempo orientated. You do want to try and close out the game pretty quickly. One of those things that you just kind of have to do. I've got the ulti coming up here in a second, so I'm going to be looking for this bot lane gank. Okay. Didn't end up using my ult there. I managed to be able to save it. I might see if I can kill this uh, trend, but I'm not liking the chances of it. See what he does though. We'll see what he does. He is staying. This looks pretty good. Get this guy. Uh, I might go top here. My top is going to have his ult in a second. This looks okay. I think he's dying though because he has no mana. I'm gonna try and push this next wave, otherwise it's gonna be a freeze here. It does not look like my top is super interested in doing that. I guess my diner is still talking a lot by the sounds of it. Did get the TP though out there, which is great. 
I probably should have picked up that plate in all honesty. I think that was a bit of a mistake. Especially when you have a tank lane, I think it's always good to just take the plate. Plus, it did actually die, which means that like I could have got it. And now that I didn't get it, that gold can never really be recaptured in this game, unfortunately. So it's really always a huge mistake to misplace and things like that. Uh, from miscalculating the amount of damage that creeps will do. My teammates are typing so much, it's really, really a large issue. Excellent stuff. Quickly kill both of them, and then I'm going to quickly also grab the drag. Yeah, this is a really, really good example of why I recommend not to have your chat on in low elo, guys, or in general, really. I don't think it's beneficial, but just look at the quality of this chat and the things that are being said. My teammates are not saying anything of benefit here to actually win the game. And so whenever they're doing that, you know, it would be my recommendation that you just don't have this chat on to begin with. I'll probably be releasing a full settings guide at some point in the very near future, making a course about it. So if you guys are interested in, you know, trying to optimize your settings for better performance, I would recommend checking that out when it's ready. to kill her there a lot than that but i do want to kill her and allow my teammates to keep on punishing that bot lane does not look like enemy is going to use the herald in time which is so good for us guys whenever you're playing and you have herald you always want to drop it by 14 minutes to get those plates they missed out on so much here now look they're getting a first blood turret oh no they're not even going to get that so they missed out on just a huge huge play what the fuck? Don't know why the Diana is going in there on the other guy, but anyway, they're both dead. This is why Trinity is a good champion in low elo because um, the way the game is played is just like a little bit crazy. I actually think about the death stance here. Got a different route. Looks like my Jin is also potentially taking my red, which it, that'd be tragic if he did do that. I do not want him to do that. Yeah, you can see the Trinity is going to start rotating out my camps and things like that too, which is going to be pretty annoying for me. I think if my teammates were like smart, they would have arranged for a lane swap between my top laner and my mid. Fucking god, that really doesn't kill. Alright, not bad, not bad. Where's that Trindom, yeah? I think Trin took my blue, which really, really sucks, but this is just what happens. What the heck is he doing here? Yeah. 
all right we'll base here guys pick up the death stance we're trying to match this trend in terms of uh you know stats he is the biggest threat for me this game in terms of you know who on the enemy team can actually carry so we do want to try and prevent him from being able to carry as much as possible i think that my um malphite lives here which is great I'm just gonna quickly jump in on the bright side we do have a lot of champions that can probably deal with the uh trend to some degree i don't know why they're just like allowed to be in my jungle here She's alive? Wow, they're actually gonna kill all. It's insanity. I don't know what my other two players are doing, to be honest. I have no idea what Timo and uh, Jin are doing in this period of time. Anyway, it is what it is. Unfortunately, they have a big 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 gap in the mid lane there's that trinomir just rotating out my camps consistently nothing i can really do about that it's just like a thing trinomir does i mean this is why trinomir is like an easy kind of noob champion for people to play like why like a lot of like people recommend that like low elo people play trinomir because you know you can get like some easy lp but i don't think that particularly makes someone good so i don't recommend doing that Really good stuff. Ah, uh, it's so weird though that like mouth. I might have private you now. Yeah, it's really crazy that like you know we don't have a player um, going to the trend. You know when. It's basically just like the freest thing ever. Don't know what to do. Pretty hard. His teammates are not really super responsive. She got the kill. I don't think there's anything more we can do there, unfortunately. What the hell? Probably gonna run down on this play here mid. Excellent stuff. No ult here, also on that enemy jungler. Kill them all here. Let's fucking go. This looks like it's it, guys.
don't know why my teammates are not rotating here to this straight away. They're like, uh, kind of fucking around with a scion, unfortunately. This play was quite fine to do, but now it's pretty risky, in all honesty. Jesus. I'm right, getting run down by the trend here for sure. I don't know how to get out of there, unfortunately. I think I should just let Malphite in fist fight in there forever. And I should have just maybe even just died to the Scion. I'm not entirely sure. But I don't think I should die there. I think that was definitely a mistake. I'm just not, yeah, again, I'm not entirely sure what the best uh, play is there to not die. So I'm shut down for a lot of gold, 1,000 gold, which we really want to avoid. Teammates are prepping for the drag, which is really good. I think it's an overstay by me. Um, I'm probably going to pick up an elixir. I like the elixir. What the hell? This guy needs to TP back ASAP. I don't know why he left. Oh, that player's dead. Oh, he got healed. Oh, let's fucking go. Where's he going? What? On fuck On earth, man. Hey, okay, that's really good. Nice, stop the Slion ulti. Ooh, that's a nice Q. Excellent stuff. Quickly pick up this drag here, and then it should be all good. Probably, wait, really? I was about to say there's probably no camps here, but there are camps. That's great. We've got the camps. We do want to get a base off for that black cleaver as soon as possible. That's really going to help out for my teammates. Just reducing a bit more of their armor. Definitely think picking up that elixir was quite nice for the fight, given that, uh, you know, it was a very important fight of the game. Here's the black cleaver, and honestly, another armor item is probably not going to go astray. So I kind of like this. We'll pick that up. Start building towards that GA. I'm going to run down mid here and see what I can do. I think it's pretty good for us that they're going on the Teemo here and using a bunch of resources. But I need my Jin to live. But she has not lived. Holy shit. Ah, these fucking apes, man. Did not listen to me. See, our Trinimate doesn't really deal much damage to me or very fast because of how much armor I bought. Whereas, like, he actually still kind of melts my other champions. Even my Malphite is not really living that long versus him. Anyway, he should die here, I think. What? Also, why do we not ult? Okay, I'm so confused. 
I am so confused by my teammates, man. Um, 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 what next? Kind of see my teammates to group, honestly. If we can kill this trend, it should be over. Oh, I kind of wasted my flash last fight. Look at how good Malphite is into that champion. Where the fuck are the rest of my teammates at? This is such ape shit. <sighs> These guys are not going to play the game, I think. Like such a lead over enemy jungler, but we just cannot win any fights. Need to just kill this guy on the side lane. We have such good champions for him too if we just come and rotate like what? Doing other things. I don't convince my teammates to listen to me. Same. What is this alt? Teammates, listen. What? <laughs> ah. Yes, now we do go across to the other one. Looks like, unfortunately, though, is still. Despite all this, the enemy is actually going to end up getting things out of this play. Looks like he didn't get in here, so I think we just all go 5 mid again. I have my item very soon, but I think, yeah, we just go 5 mid. As long as we go 5 mid, Trind can't really play the game. We have Teemo blind and also Malphite. Even if Zaya split pushes here, I don't think it's true. We have Baron recalls, etc. What the fuck is this Teemo doing? Whatever. Teemo could probably kill that guy anyway. Just end. Jeez. 
GG well played, guys. Uh, yeah, macro really is an issue in these games. Hey, macro is terrible from both sides, but yeah. That's the game. GG well played. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it and you learned something new in this game. It was actually a pretty hard game. Like, in all honesty, we were kind of close to losing um, at a few different points, actually. So, a bit crazy to see. Um, probably gonna honor. I'm gonna see what honor this guy, but we'll also probably report him. I don't know. I hate it when noobs type. Um, so I'll show you guys quickly the runes that we went this game and what they actually did in terms of uh, stats. So for those of you that want to see the damage numbers, here's the damage numbers, and then here's the runes and what they actually did in this game. Do you think that these runes were pretty much optimal? I wouldn't have changed anything out. Anyway, guys, if you did enjoy the content, make sure to like and subscribe. If you're someone who's looking to get one-on-one -on -one coaching, you can check out my site, coachmarket.com where you can book one-on-one -on -one coaching or also join my private members area and get access to me and a bunch of other useful educational resources in there. Till next time, guys, take care and good luck on the climb.